Steve Brenner and Eric Breviman called me to let me know that uh, uh, the thing has passed away. I couldn't stop crying last night. It's been two weeks since esteemed Dodger broadcaster Jaime Harin spoke to his treasured colleague and dear friend Vin Scully before his passing Tuesday night. The two are Hall of Famers, Dodger broadcast legends in English and Spanish. Together they've traveled countless miles, swapped countless stories, and dined together countless times. He used to take me to the best restaurants in every city. He used to carry with him a little book like the Michelin book, and, uh, and in, the, in, the, in the plane, in first class, we were in the first row, uh, separated only by, the, by the, uh, the mirror there, and he would pass the book to me, he said, choose a, choose a restaurant, it's your turn to choose a restaurant. <laughs> I said, no, no, you do it, you do it, you do it. You would think men like these would talk about baseball nonstop. Not so. We, we talk very few times about baseball, mostly about life, about people, about countries, uh, about my traveling, and uh, he, he, he was very special. My dear friend, Jaime Harin. There were happy times, like when Jaime was inducted into the Ring of Honor, an honor Vin had received years earlier. There were sad times, like the painful loss of spouses. Six decades of friendship, a story woven into nine innings and more. Jaime is so, deeply grateful uh, to Vin. Very generous. A wonderful person, no question about it. That's why I say that he has been the architect of my career. He, he was everything to me. A friend, a teacher, counselor, everything, everything. Very close friends. Jaime believes he will see his treasured friend again. But for now, the memories sustain him. My gratitude towards uh, Vince Kelly, whose figure will stay for me until the end. Uh, he, just went, he just went ahead of us, but uh, I, will see, I will see him soon. Thank you. Gracias. Laura Diaz, Fox 11 News.